I've been so fortunate in my career to run into some really intelligent, capable, experienced people. But I've got to tell you, the number of great leaders I've run into, I could count on one hand. It's because leadership is quite tough, but it can also be incredibly rewarding if you do it the right way. Now, a lot of people have asked me why I stepped away from what was a pretty cool CEO role. But after five years, I figured, I want to do some more here. And so my purpose now is to improve the quality of leaders globally. Your job as a leader, when you boil it all down, is to create value. You've got to sift through all the activity that's being done in your organisation and find the things that truly deliver value. Now, if you think about the activity value paradox, so many things go on in your organisation that you have no control over, and so many things go on that if you had a choice and you were close enough to the action of those decisions, you would have your people do something else. And so getting clarity around what's being done is just so important. Now, a lot of people say to me, Marty, we're different. No, you're not. You're not different. It's all about value creation. And the thing that you have to do is work out what value means in your context, your organisation, your industry, this point in time. Micromanagers, they are up your clacker with a microscope all day long because they can't let go of the work you're doing. And what, what signal does this send? It sends a signal that says, I don't trust you to do your job. I have to get into your job and help you do it or do it for you. I don't trust you. Now, when your culture change initiative stalls, you need to do something a little bit more radical. You're going to have to shoot a hostage. Now, have I got your attention yet? Because people need to know that not changing is not an option. So, have a think about what sort of person this is typically going to be. And in fact, as you think about this, it could actually be you. So great to have you back for week four of Leadership Beyond the Theory. And this week in this module, we're going to look at working at level. So what messages are you trying to send to the organisation? No one is indispensable. Not me, not you, no one. Behaviours actually matter. And passive aggressive resistance, wide anding, simply won't be tolerated. And if you can't get this under control in your leaders, you will never change your culture. Now if you genuinely believe that the organisation is going to be better off, why would you penalise the organisation and the good people in it? Because you're not prepared to deal with those handful of people that want to keep the status quo exactly the way it is. If you operate with self-interest, if you're worried about your bonus, your next promotion, how a particular issue affects you, your people will smell it. You will never get their loyalty. If you're in it for yourself, they will never be in it for you, ever. As a leader, it's your job to set the tone, the pace and the standard for your people. And that's a very, very important role. And you can even motivate and support people to bring out the very, very best that they have. But at the end of the day, every individual chooses how they behave and perform. Now we all know that the world is awash with self-appointed leadership experts. And they've read the books and they've learnt the words. And so what they say sounds really sensible, but it's also somehow quite intangible because they've never run a major business. But I've done that. And so I can put a laser-like focus onto the cut through things that are really gonna make a difference and get beyond the leadership platitudes to the things that are gonna take you forward. Yeah.